क्वेश्चन नंबर 173 डिटरमाइन द स्क्रिप्टर ड्यूटी पेएबल बाय एक्स लिमिटेड वाई लिमिटेड जेड लिमिटेड एंड ए लिमिटेड अंडर सेक्शन 8 बी ऑफ द कस्टम्स टैरिफ एक्ट फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग इंपोर्ट ऑफ सोडियम नाइट्रेट फ्रॉम डेवलपिंग एंड डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज फ्रॉम 26 फरवरी टू 25 फरवरी बोथ डेज इंक्लूसिव और एज फॉलोस सो इंपोर्टर X limited, Y limited, Z limited, A limited, importing from developing country, and others are importing from developed country, and rupees in crores is given. So now, first of all, safeguard duty is product specific. So whenever you know domestic industry makes an application to the government that there are large number of goods large quantities are being imported into india which causes damage to the domestic industry in that case the government will be levying something called as safeguard duty in order to protect the domestic manufacturers so this safeguard duty will be levied on the product so that is imported from any country see once it is levied on that product if that product is imported from any country there will be safeguard duty however there are certain relaxations from applicability of safeguard duty number 1 if you are importing from a developing country and imports from that developing country does not exceed 3% of the total imports of that article then imports from that developing country do not attract safeguard duty even though that product attracts safeguard duty but that product imported from the developing country does not attract safeguard duty when if there is only one developing country from which we are importing the product and import from that developing country does not exceed 3% of the total imports of that article whereas second point if you are importing from more than one developing country imports from each developing country with less than 3% taken as a group does not exceed 9% aggregate then also on that group there is no safeguard duty so imports from each developing country with less than 3% when this point is applicable when you are importing from more than one developing country actually this question is that case so the imports into india is from more than one developing country and imports from each developing country with less than 3% taken cumulatively does not exceed 9% then also there is no safeguard duty otherwise safeguard duty applicable then third case if the goods are imported by 100% eou if that product is imported by 100% eou or a unit in scz there is no safeguard duty however if that product is cleared from eou or scz to dta domestic tariff area then safeguard duty is payable by eou or scz then specifically by way of notification import from a particular country do not attract safeguard duty like that if it is given then also there is no safeguard duty these are the four cases where there is no safeguard duty in that the second point is this imports from each developing country here we are importing from more than one developing country import from each developing country that is 70 divided by 2500 So is how much? Two point eight percent. Then eighty two divided by two thousand five hundred, three point two eight percent. Fifty two divided by two thousand five hundred, so two point zero eight percent. Then fifty divided by two thousand five hundred, two percent. Two thousand two forty six divided by two thousand five hundred. so that is not required actually we need to take imports from developing countries only now which countries have less than 3% this imported by x limited then z limited and a limited taken together taken together so 2.8 plus 2.08 plus 2 taken together 6.88% it does not exceed 9% so imports by x limited z limited and a limited do not attract safeguard duty however imports by y limited attract safeguard duty because that is 3.28% so while taking into the group we need to take that group with less than 3% not equal to 3% less than 3% taken cumulatively should be less than or equals to 9% so 
here. So only on these three, 6.88. So imports by X limited, safeguard duty nil, Y limited, yes, it is there. So 3.28, so it is there. And how much is the value of import 82? So 82 into 30 percent, 24.6 crores. You need to pay a safeguard duty. Z limited and A limited. Now, what about developed countries? Definitely safeguard duty is there, but the question asked is only X limited, Y limited, Z limited and A limited. So, as we are restricting the answer only to that. So, therefore, imports from X, imports made by X limited, Z and A do not attract safeguard duty, but Y limited attract safeguard duty. Now, suppose this sum of these three exceeds 9%, then on these three cases, there will be safeguard duty. On imports made by X limited, Z limited and A limited, there will be safeguard duty. Okay.